praise be Jesus and Mary. In today's gospel, our Lord explains to us the great value of the kingdom of heaven, that it is more valuable than anything in this world, or really anything that can be imagined. And in another part of the gospel, he says it this way, what does it profit a man if he gain the whole world and lose his immortal soul, right? The kingdom of heaven, life in heaven, eternal life, is everything, right? It should be our number one desire and the thing that we are living for and striving for. Now we know it's not an easy thing, right? Our Lord said that the way is narrow and difficult that leads to life, and few there are who find it. Yesterday, the church presented us with St. Sebastian, the martyr, who was first shot with arrows and then recovered and then was clubbed to death. So this was the path that divine providence unfolded for him, the path that he needed to tread uh, to enter into eternal life. And we might look at that and be a little intimidated, right? I mean, how do you do that? That's, and he was a soldier, right? A man who, of valor, who was already uh, strong and tried in these type of contests and battles. Um, and so the church presents us today with St. Agnes, right? We're talking about just a little girl. And the Roman martyrology uh, explains St. Agnes in this way. 21 January, the memorial of St. Agnes, virgin and martyr, who while still a young girl, some say that she was just 12 years old, offered to the city of Rome the supreme testimony of faith and consecrated the title Martyr of Chastity. For she conquered both her age and the tyrant, winning the most astounding admiration of the people and acquiring even greater glory before God. This day the internment of her body is celebrated. So there we have it, the example of a young girl uh, who was able to shed her blood out of love for God and win the kingdom of heaven in that way. And so we see that it isn't the martyrs don't derive their strength from their own power, but it is from the grace of God, the gift of fortitude of the Holy Spirit, as we read in St. Paul's letter to the Corinthians, Today, God chose the weak of the world to shame the strong. And so God uh, gives the strength to these martyrs, and he will also give us the strength needed for salvation and sanctification, uh, provided we have a generous will, right? That we have the will of the martyrs, that we uh, are doing our utmost to love God with all of our heart, mind, soul, and strength. And so let's do our part, follow in the footsteps of these saints, and enter into glory with them. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.